All right. Next. Um. Uh. Yeah, we can watch these. I want to watch these. I I want to see what's going on with the. I haven't seen anything with the team C's yet. I've seen a couple of things, right? It's all over the internet, but I haven't really wa got into it. This is one of the dirtiest beaches in the entire world. And we're going to pick up every single piece of trash on this beach. Starting Jesus. with this water bottle. One out of millions of pieces of trash. We did that it. This will gross. take forever. How do people just let the... Up, you know baby. what I mean? That's I'm just hungry like, for your plastic. As you can see, this is taking forever. Oscar, come on in. This is Oscar, professional beach cleaner. Is this basically how you guys clean beaches? Mainly the big stuff first, and then we bring a lot of people with sips as well for the small stuff. You scoop oh. it into this thing, and then shake out the sand, and you got a bunch of trash. This right here is the first bag of trash. Hundreds more to go. How do we do this quicker? We just need more people. That seems simple. Do you clap for me? There you go. Damn. All the mud. Damn. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to clean this up using the bags. We're going to clean this up. Groups of four. Groups of four in this area. Part of me wanted to see if me and the boys could clean up this beach by ourselves. And the other part of me realizes that would have taken a year. I could have told you that. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah? The ocean's putting more trash on the beach. <laughs> There's so much underwear in the ocean. I'm enacting a new law. Thou shalt not throw your Dude, underwear Dude, they had to put the, the underwear ocean. there. Wait, did you guys already fill up a bag? Yeah. You guys are better than us. They are professionals, to be fair. My ears? After 12 hours of cleanup, this is what we managed to achieve. Damn! Which is it in? Ugh. Tomorrow, I'm going to bring in 10 times the volunteers. That's Tomorrow. very... I, that actually looks like... Tomorrow. It's now the next day. A beach I could sit on. And not get a syringe in my ass. I'm helping. Yeah. Nah, nah, but nah. slowly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Rover or Mr. Beast? Hey, Mr. Make sure oh. you watch until the end of the video to find out how we're going to pick up 30 million pounds of trash. Thank you for coming to our country and help us with this initiative that is really awesome. Oh my. Right there. Stop. He's not stopping. I'm going to move. And this bad boy is <laughs> 6,000 pounds of trash. And now we have 36,000 pounds of trash, which weighs the same as 3,000 cats or three T-Rexes. Whichever you prefer. While I was talking with some of the locals, they mentioned that there's a beach down the street that was also very dirty. So I sent Nolan oh, wow. with a bunch of volunteers to go clean that beach as well. There's a whole oh, car bumper There's a right car here. bumper here. Did this come out of the ocean? What? People litter weird things. What type of trash have you seen along the beach? Most importantly, most commonly, is plastics. And we see that in every form on the beach here. They oh. ended up removing 12,000 pounds of trash. This is which just the beach, us up too. to a total of 50,000 pounds of trash from just two beaches. Check out just the beach. Move. Watch this. Imagine Imagine Look the that. ocean, Is man. that how you want us to dump it? Yeah, dude. I'm taking one for the team. I'm the team player. Oh, yeah. I didn't have to look. There you go, Mark. It actually oh. kind of yeah, right. And if you guys look over there, we're actually getting close to the end of the beach. This is what the beach looked like at the start of the video. And this is what it looks like with like 20% oh, left. Oh, that's so we're getting there. beautiful. We're doing it. Unfortunately, between the ocean washing up trash to the beach and rivers bringing in new trash from Such the mainland. Such a beautiful beach obviously too, Obviously, this man. beach is going to get dirty again. But with your guys' help, we can stop a much bigger issue. We're almost done, Jimmy. I know. Four straight days of picking up trash. And just like that, we removed over 60,000 pounds of trash from the world's dirtiest beach and even though this 60,000 pounds of trash we picked up might seem impressive there is sadly way too much trash still in the ocean two years ago we crushed our goals with team trees and planted 20 million trees and now it's time to do it again which is why we along with hundreds of other creators are launching team c's and for every one dollar you guys donate like this one mm. less pound of trash will be in the ocean. But what if I wanted to donate $10, Jimmy? I conveniently have 10 pounds of trash right here that is now out of the ocean. Boom, gone. You get the point. One dollar donated is one less pound of trash in the mm. ocean. And I'd like to personally thank YouTube Originals for supporting Team C's and helping us fund it. They're going to yeah. be matching the first $400,000. I was going to say, I've been seeing these. Like, you literally see them like this. Like, it's on every video, which is dope that YouTube will, is, like, doing that. They already got one sixth of the way there. So that's that's dope. With the donations, dollar for dollar. And we want to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Which is just so freaking audacious. This only happens if we all work together. Half the money we raise is going towards funding volunteer beach cleanups like we did here today 
all across the world, as well as literally fishing trash out of the ocean. And the other half will be used for these trash eating robots that pick up trash 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We need more of those. Flow to the ocean. Go to teamseas.org or click the donate button below this video right now. One dollar equals one less pound of trash in the ocean. Making real change like this isn't going to be easy. Go donate right now and help us remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean before the end of the year. Let's show the world that we want a clean ocean. That's dope. What are you doing? Get out of here. Go donate. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm all about this cause, man. That's fucking dope. I'm gonna attempt to collect 30 million pounds of trash from this river all by myself. But there's a catch, because Mr. Beast and his boys and a butt ton of volunteers are gonna try and beat me to it by collecting 30 million pounds of trash from this beach. Now I know what you're thinking. Psh, Mark, one versus a thousand hardly seems like a fair fight. And you'd be right, except for one minor detail I neglected to mention. I actually do have one other teammate who just so happens to be a floating 50-ton <laughs> trash-eating robot. You gotta play to your strengths, right? Imagine his entire robot was designed by Mark Rober. Like, this is his design. All right, dude, you ready to start this competition? Dude, we've been going. Look at all these people. What? Go, 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 go. You started already. So with the trash picking competition officially underway, while Mr. Beast and his crew perform manual labor like a bunch of lame humans, all the <laughs> trash stuff is blowing on me. All me and my autonomous robot had to do was wait. And we didn't have to wait long. So wait, is it I on like a Jimmy getting all rack? sweaty on the beach, picking up trash mm. the old-fashioned way, while I just let it all come to me. Oh. We got some eggs. Looks like a go-gurt. Oh, what do we got here? This is a cola real. Wait, is it is it come not on, even moving? Man, this isn't even open. So Jimmy and his crew got off to an early lead, and I can confidently say that's thanks to their premature start and not their trash collection techniques. Jimmy! Yeah? The ocean's <laughs> putting more trash on the beach. But by this point, my robot had also started firing on all cylinders and was closing the gap, which makes this the perfect time to explain exactly how it works. And to do that, let's go back in time a few days to when I first showed up here. Hey, what's up, boy? Welcome. Thank you. Welcome on the Interceptor. Nice place you got here. That is Boyan Slat. He's the reason this robot exists, and his origin story for caring about trash in the ocean comes from something that happened to him more than a decade ago. I was 16 years old, I went scuba diving in Greece, and I looked around me, and I just saw more plastic bags than fish. And I was just so disappointed Easy. by that, that I thought, why can't we just clean this up? That kind of started a few things for me. Which is a humble way of saying it led him to founding a nonprofit organization called the Ocean Cleanup, with the audacious goal to rid the ocean of all trash and plastic. So naturally, that involves removing trash directly from the ocean itself. But if you think about it, that's only half the problem. Because to make a lasting impact, you've also got to cut the pollution off at the source and turn the spigot off. And as it turns out, 80% of the plastic flowing to the ocean from rivers comes from just 1% of the rivers. So their idea is to put these trash-eating robots on those worst offending rivers, and that will go a long way to fixing the problem at the source. Jesus. So that's the strategy behind these. Now, a long way to fixing Ooh. the There's no way that's real problem at the oh source so that's the strategy behind that's these terrible, now to the juicy man. part to how these and river interceptor robots that. actually work so step one is to anchor it near the bank of the river and then as trash floats down the river it runs into this barrier on the surface of the water which shepherds the trash towards the mouth of the thing and then once the trash is funneled in it travels up this conveyor belt after which it's dropped in one of these six floating dumpsters and the to be honest they float i thought um it was like a like a boat that like dug under the ground and like shifted while it was moving in the I, I, I don't know. is really clever because it means once they're full the interceptor can stay put while the dumpsters are flotilla down the river where whatever can be recycled is recycled and the rest is properly disposed of using the local waste management system on top of that it's got solar panels and a rainwater collection system so it's fully off the grid and thanks to some onboard ai technology nice. the trash collection happens essentially autonomously and importantly it's boyan's nonprofit that provides the interceptor but it's the local government and communities that implement, operate, and maintain 
maintain it. This one is in the Dominican Republic, and it's run locally by their naval officers, who are just incredibly lovely to work with, mm -hmm. by the way. Oh, and as a final point, that floating barrier sticks only one and a half feet deep into the water, which means while the trash gets captured on the surface, the fish can swim back and forth under nice. it all day long. Or as Boyan puts it, It's very good at catching plastic. It's terrible at catching fish. Unless <laughs> you're a dead fish, then it'll catch you. If you're already dead oh. and filled with gas, Right. You will be caught. Then yeah. you will be caught. So That's at this gross. point, Jimmy and the boys had an ever-growing pile of trash. The pile's looking pretty nice. If I was you, I'd be getting a little nervous. I'm a, I'm a wee bit nervous. But the good news was that thanks to the steady consistency of my robot, I had now overtaken them as the leader in the amount of trash collected. But even better <laughs> was that while they continued to labor away in the hot sun, I just left mine on autopilot and took the opportunity to go enjoy the natural beauty of the Dominican beaches nice. and make friends and hang out with some of the locals and even have this amazing Disney princess of a moment. And while I don't speak manatee, I think she was coming to say thank you on behalf of all the ocean creatures for us doing our part to keep the trash out of their home. And after that, my curiosity got the best of me, so I went to check out their progress firsthand. And after a brief display of dominance, keep it up, boys, keep it up. Okay. You wanna come help us? I'm picking up trash right now. Look at that. A oh cushion. My. A couch cushion. This is a live feed of what's going on right now. There's a lot of couches in the ocean. That's like eight of my shovels a second. Yeah. Back to work. Uh. I eventually helped them out because I'm such a nice guy. Even yeah. going as far as to offer to place their hard-earned trash definitely in their own pile for them. So it counts towards their okay, total and not mine. Dude. So as the sun set over the city, I made some new friends who, after I introduced myself, kept pronouncing my name as Gringo for some reason. And right there behind me, you could see the robot was just powering on because that's <laughs> what robots do. My Collecting name trash Bingo. for me through the night so I continued to add to my totals even while I slept. The next day started out nice, but then rained hard for a few hours, which increased the trash in the river quite a bit. Mm. In fact, they told me after a heavy rain, all six dumpsters can get filled in a single day, which seemed just crazy to me. So when I asked where all the trash was coming from, we took a trip up the river, and before long, the source of the trash became pretty obvious. Jesus. Anytime we saw a canal like this meant to carry rainwater to the river and there were a lot of them it would be filled with trash that washes down from the communities near the river and even worse you could see sometimes how people would throw trash off the side of a cliff down to the river as an improvised trash dump and part of Why? me felt really frustrated by this until we parked the boat and actually visited one of these communities and out of the gate I saw a soccer ball and tried <laughs> to showcase some of my moves but after they put me in my place I knew my only recourse was to go full Sammy Sosa on them oh! But as we walked around and talked with mm -hmm. them, it That's became apparent so pretty quickly the trash ends up in the river because there are no other options. You and I yeah. have the luxury of putting our trash That's in a bin and thinking. rolling it out to the curb, and then it's magically empty by the end of the day. In the developed cities in the Dominican Republic, this is, of course, how it also works. But in these remote, poor communities, there are a lot of challenges that prevent this, such as just not being accessible by big trash trucks, which means they just don't have somewhere to put their waste. So whatever doesn't make it to the river, just piles up in their own village. And in talking with the leaders in these communities, it's clear they're passionate about being part of the solution. And the Dominican government, in conjunction with the UN, is proactively working together with their own people to come up with custom long-term solutions and be an example to the rest of the world. The point is, everyone involved here knows that Interceptor is not intended to be the permanent fix. Ultimately, we want to help ourselves out of business, and the sooner the better. There will come a day that we can just get rid of these interceptors, and there's no more plastic coming, coming down these rivers. But until that day comes, we need to stop it from going into the ocean. In the end, by the time I wrapped up my work at the Interceptor, we ended up making two trips with the dumpsters down the river so the waste could be properly disposed of. Even though I basically did no manual labor to make this happen, there's still like a sense of pride here for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. We did it. So after getting the total weight recorded, all that was left to do now was to meet back up with Jimmy. Wow, this Jeez. is a certified butt ton right here. How much did you get? A certified oh, God, butt ton, I like it's that. It's on my paper, I'm yeah, not showing you. you. Spoiler alert, it's much, much less than 30 million pounds. Okay, so before we show you our papers here and reveal who won, man versus machine, if you're watching this video, we need your help to get this pile of trash to 30 million pounds. And buckle up, because the next two months 
are going to be crazy. Now, for context, two <laughs> years ago, the internet demanded we start Team Trees. And not only did we band together and reach our goal of planting 20 million trees by 2020, but people are still planting, on average, 2,600 trees per day on TeamTrees.org. So in order to actually get 30 million That's pounds a lot. of trash and plastic out of the freaking ocean, we're following up Team Trees with Team Seas. And we've spent the last eight months working with the perfect nonprofit cleanup organizations for this goal. And even nice. though it was difficult, they guaranteed us that for every single dollar we raise, there will be one less pound of plastic and trash in the ocean. And that's just bonkers. That literally means that for every one dollar donated, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And for five dollars, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And we're gonna pull this off by not just tackling trash in the ocean, but cutting off the trash sources at the rivers and beaches too. So half the money we raise will go to Boyan's charity, The Ocean Cleanup, so they can just make a butt Dude, ton more so of these trash eating robots. And then yeah, I'm gonna donate. In that one percent of rivers, for that are sure. the worst offenders by far. You know, and then the other half of the money part. will go to Ocean Conservancy, this and they'll focus dope. on the beaches with tons of volunteer beach cleanups. And then of course, actually going out to sea and cleaning up a bunch of trash there as well and so we need your help because 30 million less pounds of trash in the ocean really means we're trying to raise 30 million dollars by the yeah. end of the year in just two months which is insanity and exactly why we banded together the entire youtube community heck all of social media to help us hit our goal by the end of the year go team seeds let's do this we're saving the oceans in two ways i don't know if you realize we can do this i'm excited for team seeds oceans good team seeds good plastics bad i personally <laughs> <laughs> kicking things off like by removing 100,000 pounds from the ocean by donating $100,000. And YouTube Damn. Originals has stepped up, and they'll be matching the first $400,000 donated. But that's still way, way less than $30 million. If you're a working adult, consider how much trash you're willing to remove to send a message. And if you're a kid, talk to your parents about this. Get creative and do some chores to earn some money. Or maybe talk to your teacher and set up a class or even school fundraiser using the team feature on the website. And then after that, retweet anything to do a Team Seas. Like, share. Watch a hundred times every Team C's video. Support this campaign. We need you. You can start by sharing this video and then just harass all your favorite creators. Make sure they're <laughs> on board Team C's. With all the division in the world, this just feels like something we can all see eye to eye on. Like everyone agrees that trash and plastic don't belong in our beautiful oceans. Yeah. And of course we know Team C's alone won't solve this issue. But it sends a strong message that young people are hungry and willing to go beyond just retweets to raise awareness. We can be a catalyst for positive change in this world. I am just so stoked we totally got this. Man, they make some really good videos. How many pounds of trash I is just, right I here? I just want to, I would have 30 million views. Um, you are a liar. Oh, How wait, I was going to say, I, I wish I had 30 million dollars just to, like if I was rich, bro, if I was rich, rich, like, it's like, that's what I'm thinking, like, how about what, what's going on with all these like celebrities? Like, why aren't they, they, they make that money. They have millions of dollars. You know what I mean? Why don't they just throw in like five million on the, on the thing? Why not? They got the money. Do they? You know what I mean? The trash is right here. Uh, five hundred thousand. You are a liar. How many pounds of trash is really here? Sixty-two thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight pounds of trash is right here. Wow. Oh, 37,000? Yo, we need him. I will say, my robot in the next two weeks, and he'll do that. So if you want to fund more robots That's and more humans crazy. to solve this important problem, click the blue button, go to teamseas.org, donate right now. Go donate. Go donate, man. For sure, go donate. You got a little bit of cash. A little bit of cash money.